My name is Kate Gerwin. My bar in Albuquerque, New Mexico is called Happy Accidents and we are nominated for Best American Cocktail Bar. And I'm gonna make for you my favorite cocktail, which is a neat pour of mezcal. People ask me all the time, they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a bartender. And they're like, oh no, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner. I'm like, I'm a bartender. I don't wanna be called anything else. I love my industry. I love my people. I love what I do. I still wanna be behind the bar. I'm still behind the bar on Fridays and Saturdays. I still want to see that smile on people's faces. There's nothing better than what we do for me. We're independently owned. We're bartender owned. We have uh, no big backers, no PR firm. We are a distillery bar as well, um, and you know I don't really believe that we were nominated, you know, specifically for our cocktails. I think we were nominated for the ethos behind our company, which is mostly that staff comes first. The people who work for us make us; they are who uh, we are, and we put them as a priority in everything that we do. Our staff makes a living wage; they all get health insurance, and you know, eventually they can get partnership in our company. And if not, and they want to go on and open their own. So we hope that one day we'll be able to invest in all of our employees and help them you know, make their dreams come true as well. The industry has uh, notoriously been very difficult. Um, people have worked to survive um, and you know, thriving isn't really something that happens for a lot of hospitality workers. And I think um, as soon as we make our staff a priority, uh, we can change the way that our industry functions. Part of it was seeing a, my people suffer during COVID. You know, I saw my friends and people I consider my family um, kind of just withering away and, and everyone was doing the pivot dance. You know, what, what can I do with my life now? Um, I'm in my 40s, I didn't want to pivot. So it was really important to me to make it a priority to prioritize my staff and make sure that they never had to go through that again. Our business model is a distillery bar. We have a craft distiller's license, so um, our Profits are a little bit different. You know, we get our spirits in bulk, uh, we blend, and we go into our own bottles. We don't have, we have a, a great sustainability platform. We don't have bottle waste. But that also enables us to operate a different profit margin. And that was really important in prioritizing our staff with health insurance and making sure that everybody has access to a living wage in, you know, our state of New Mexico, the average living wage income is like 34000 and um, you know my, my bartenders well make well over double that. They're living the life that they should be living and it's just really important that hospitality industry people know that this career is viable um, and that you can have fun and it doesn't have to be something that you're doing until you do something else. This can be the end goal if you just prioritize it.